Hi guys, welcome to Simply Draw. I'm Elaine and today we're going to be sketching this chipmunk. I printed the reference photo off Shutterstock. <laughs> Can you tell? <clears throat> um, anyway, get your scrap piece of paper and a pen that you like. There's tons to do. So I just kind of want to get started. Um, while you're getting organized, I just want to say that uh, we got to be, how's that for good grammar? We must, we should, and we, we've got to try to be mindful of the length of our lines when we're starting at the head. Because in the few practice sketches that I've done, when you know, like it, it's a small line and I think I'm drawing a small line, but it's like big and then it's like big, big, big. And I end up with this great big head. And then to match the size of the head, I have to do a larger body, which is okay. But when you're at my level of um, skill, the larger the body, the more easy it is for me to get totally screwed up. So I need to I need to keep it kind of small. You do whatever you like, but I would I think because it's a very complicated drawing to begin with, don't make it harder for yourself than it's already gonna be. Okay. God, I hope you're organized by now. I'm so darn nervous, you guys. Um I wanna start at the nose. And I want to do this small downward angle for the bottom of the nose and then the, the beginning of the cheek and then into the mouth and then the top part of the nose and go up. And these angles right here are going to help me determine the size and the angle of the head. That's the plan. So, oh, do you think we could just trace it? <laughs> Oh my God, it, whose idea was it to learn artwork? This is so darn hard. Okay, and no, I'm not done complaining. Okay, tiny little lines, you guys, because otherwise you're gonna get all buggered up and you're gonna have like this monster chippy on your paper. Okay, mouth and chin. And then, oh, see, I'm sitting at an angle. Try to sit up straight if you can, because then your drawing as well will be, okay, that's the top of the nose. And this is the, um, this is the bone of the, the front of the face. And this bone goes up and then protects the eye. And then this is like the forehead, okay? so. When you're doing your line for the face, we've got that's the little bone there, and then we we've got to do the curve for to pr the bone that protects the eye, and then the forehead. Now, don't worry too much about this angle at the moment because if it's too sharp, you can change it later, and if it's sticking up too much, you can pretend that's fur, and then color it in um, in a bit, like when we start doing the shading and the markings. So, and then down for the underneath the chin. And, uh, okay, let's see if we can get the head in here. And then the top part of the head is a little bit flat. Let's put in this one ear. And as always, like you don't have to like really pay attention to what I'm doing. Zoom in on the reference photo and uh, follow along and with me if that if you want to, but also like do your own thing because I'm sure you're like this is just such a complicated picture, you guys. But I really wanted to. Um, give it a go. 
So there's so many cute little chipmunks around here. Okay, let's the top of the head, and then there's this part of the ear. <clears throat> now let's, if we can follow along with the markings, that might actually help us stay a little bit oriented. I'm going to have to just shut up and draw. This one really takes a lot of concentration. And I'm using a pen that doesn't leave a lot of ink down um, if I just run the pen lightly over the page, which is good because we're going to need different shades for the, the black, the tan, all that kind of stuff. So the more contrast we can get with our our sketching pen, the better. The white eyebrow above the eye is pretty distinct. And let's just relax for a few minutes and put in some of this darker for And turn your page if it's easier for you. So just try to use different pressures with your pen <clears throat> so that you can get like the dark and uh, the tan. Let's have some contrast. Okay, I, want, I, I honestly don't really want to worry too much about sketching in detail right now or coloring and shading I just want to try to get most of the body down okay and then we this fur Sticking up the, at the back, behind the ear. This is the back of the neck. Curve 
curves a little bit. Now we've got underneath his chin. And this line actually right here, if you can see it, this is his body. All this fluffy stuff is the fur on his front. So we can maybe put in a little bit of that hard line for his body on his chest right here. Not too hard. And it doesn't go down very far. And then this, he's got his two paws clutched together. Which is good news for us because we can just kind of do like a little mishmash. This is all shadow underneath his chin. And his little claws are all folded together. And this is his, uh, the other side of his forearm. This shadow right here, this section of shadow, is actually his tummy. So this is the, his leg is coming out and his tummy's behind. I'll put that shadow in there. Now let's, let's get the curve of the back here. This is going to be the jeepers creepers, the tricky part. So let's see if we're if we're um, in the right place. I can't draw a straight line, but anyway. So, okay, look at this. Underneath his chin, if, we, if we're if we underneath his chin, oh, look, here we have, uh, oops. <laughs> it's not my clear ruler, but anyway. If we go right underneath his chin and go straight across, where do we end up? Underneath his chin, and look how far down the back we are. So in your, in your drawing, when you're underneath your chin, underneath the chin that you've drawn, you've got to finish the back of the head, do a little bit of his back, and then the curve of his back. And I think with mine, I'm already like completely screwed up because I don't know if I draw this straight across, maybe not. But just to, you know, show you how, um, See, this is like straight and then it curves. This is, and this is just so distinct. We really, for our sketch, we should really try to get this part correct. So do a little flat section and then come out. And start doing that curve around and you know what I don't think we should get too far ahead of ourselves because that's too scary so let's just do something simple right now let's color in his, the shadow under his little paws I think I did my these paws are too high it looks like on mine Let's go back to the face. We've got this stripe under the eye. And leaving this white section 
Is there anything I okay so that's the stripe this kind of goes down and then where there's a little bit of shadow. This is actually a great big flap of skin that expands a huge amount where he puts in peanuts and other nuts that he acorns that he collects to store for the winter. So this is kind of like a lighter tan. This is white. Yours is going to be way better because I know you're going to be turning your paper to get this, the shading in. Okay, so the next section that I want to do is see this, this section of dark fur on his body that goes like from his forearm through and onto the back and then this is kind of like his shoulder and up. So I want to do that darker section of fur just so that we don't get too screwed up on where we are. So on his back, this section here, do it a, like a little bit narrow and then come down because it's part of his, I don't know, you know, like his shoulder and shoulder blade and that, all that kind of stuff. I just want to have this area a little bit dark as the darker fur because when we do these drawings, see you guys, the I did my paws way too high. I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. It doesn't look like it. It's worth just trying to salvage this. I wasn't joking when I said that there was tons to do today. It's too bad I screwed up the pause because I kind of like I really like the size of the head that I've drawn See if we can salvage this.
wasn't joking when I said that there was a lot to do today. And then this darker fur for his back, or his, not his, yeah, the back, darker fur on the back that sort of comes into his forearm and stuff like that. Let's just do his haunch in white. It comes out not as far as his paws and comes down to his foot. So this is the white part that we're doing. And I don't think it needs to go in quite that far. And then with his back, I want to have this like a nice curve that comes out. See how it's out further here and it really tapers in nicely to where the bottom of is. So let's see if you can get that angle. And it comes in bring it down. So it's kind of like and this is where his tail kind of goes out. His tail goes the angle for his tail out is a little bit higher than where his foot is. It's the under part of his foot. It goes all the way back here. And then this dark part is shadow where his foot um, is underneath the fur. And then we've got this this is fur of the body, this is fur of the tail. I don't want to worry too much about this right now. Okay. Uh, is he too hunched forward? I don't know. Do his little toes with really tough nails for climbing trees and running around. Now let's see, let's do the marking with the fur so this part is white. Let's get this tan for his body in here. And this is all kind of like white fur. And tan, just use different weight on your pen. Now this dark part here is part of his leg. So it's it it's a there's a couple of things going on. It's the tan of the fur plus there's like shadow and and uh curvature in there. Okay, let's just keep with this golden fur. Let's just go up a little bit and color in this golden fur of his body. Because if we go ahead and put the stripes in right now, and we get the placement wrong, 
then it's going to really screw up the um, the way we're showing that he's sitting. You know what I mean? Like if we if we do the stripe like this and it doesn't have the proper curve to it, then everything is going to look worse than it already does. So even even this curve here for the the tint this golden fur, I want to put mine out a little bit more. And because we're doing the lighter fur first, if we're if we're doing the lighter fur in the wrong place, it doesn't matter because we're gonna like we can darken over top, you know what I mean? So this is the the act the top of his little haunch here, or his thigh, whatever it's called. Okay, now for the super scary part. Putting in this, this dark stripe, geez, I don't, I don't know. I want to have more curve of this for my gold. I think I should come out more like that. And right under the R and the S of, of the Shutterstock logo, do this little um, darker section of fur too. All this kind of like little shading and stuff, it really helps you stay oriented in your drawing, in your sketch. Oh man, okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna want to turn my page, but I'm gonna try. Oh, I don't know. Why don't I, you know what, I'm going to do this darker section of his back. Because if I think it, oh sorry for covering the, because if I kind of like the angle, then why don't I just, I don't, I don't like this part here, I think that should not be out as, as much. But the tips of the fur along the back are black. So let's just do that. Now, there's the white stripe that blends with the, the black down here. And then there's a bla this black stripe. So I think what I'm going to do is starting here, right at his back, around in here. I'm going to follow the curve of his back and put this black stripe in here. And you can leave a jagged edge when you're doing that. It's pretty close to the outside edge. So make sure you have it jagged. And if you like the curve of the back that you put in, then follow that. And if you don't like the curve of the back that you put in, do a new curve using this black stripe as the guide. Because just because you did one part of the picture crappy, it doesn't mean you have to follow the crappiness and and make sure that the rest of it is off, you know what I mean? Okay, so this black stripe here goes kind of close to the outside edge. And then everything kind of blends the fur just kind of all blends together closer to the bottom of his back and his bum. Whew. Okay. Let's see. Let's just break up this little area. I want see how this white is broken up with some 
little bits of fur through it. Okay, now, oh, we can have this broken up a little bit too. Make sure you've got a good jagged edge on that black stripe. Now we need to leave a section here for this white. It's going to go like that. And then we're going to color in this next black section. So just do a little bit narrow. You know what, maybe you should just kind of like make it a little bit narrow all the way down. Do a jagged edge. The fur is growing in a downward direction. So I'm doing a jagged edge on this side. And see how the white gets pretty narrow down here? dark stripe does kind of blends into that okay now check your white space that you've left because it has to be fairly defined here broken edge and then it gets narrower at the bottom and then we can just kind of fade it slightly into the fur just above his bum. I hope you're not enjoying this just as much as I'm not enjoying it. Okay, now my, because I was focusing on this far edge of the black stripe, now I want to focus on the inner inner edge or this other edge of the black stripe so you do the same and make sure you're getting kind of like a thickness that you like with this this other stripe don't go crazy because you're going to always make it thicker if you need to but because we're drawing in pen if you make the the stripe too fat you're gonna have to spend a lot of time shading the other golden fur to sort of like even it out. Oh my God, that was agonizing. Okay, so now I just, I, will, I kind of want to clean them up. And if yours looks really good, then you don't need, then you don't know what I'm talking about. But I, I almost feel like the worst is over. And now I just want to... kind of relax for a couple of minutes. And... Um, just do some pen work over top of what I've already done because I do find that kind of it gives me a chance to sort of like calm down and so just you can go through your whole drawing or you can just focus on certain parts that you want to work on to shade them up So there's lighter and darker with this golden fur. And plus he's got a white tummy. Don't forget about that. So 
make sure it's nice and dark underneath his foot because it's uh, a couple of things. It's shadow and everything else, right? Um, okay, guessing that yours looks fab. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I just think that yours is probably terrific and this is, uh, less terrific. What I want to do now is let's get this curve in for the tail. They, they have very long tails and uh, they run with them sticking straight up so you can always tell. But let's get this nice long curve for his tail. It gets super fluffy at the end so but close to his body. It's a little bit narrow and then all this is just the black tips of the the fur that you can see and it disappears underneath the rock good for us so we don't need to worry about that but just and the stripe actually does carry through the tail so what i want you to do in your shading is make sure you leave a lighter section and you can put in the dark um you know like the bl the black tips for some of the fur I guess what I'm saying is I don't want you to make the whole tail like a solid black. Just sorry if my crappy sketch is covering the reference, but I just want you to do the darker tips along the, the edge and just leave a central tannish stripe down his his tail exactly like this just you can just color that in a little bit as long as the edges are are uh, dark so it does look like oh my god is my pen run out no And um, make the tail in your sketch, make it darker, you know, underneath where this fur has been folded and plus there's, it's lying on the rock and then there's shadow too, right? So the ends of the fur are dark, it's flattened and there's shadow. And then for these tips that are sticking up, we just want to, in our sketch, show that the tips of the fur are dark. Honestly, I could just spend half an hour coloring in his tail because it's like relaxing, <laughs> not as demanding as everything else. And the tail is like way longer. Probably it goes all the way down here and then off the off the page. Okay, color in his tail. Yada yada yada. Sorry for covering the reference. Okay, I like this pen because it doesn't drop a lot of ink when I when I use it, but then when I need it to drop a lot of ink, it's a pain in the ass. Oop, language. It's just a hassle because I can't. All right, let's get some shadow under his bum that, that shows the curve here. The curve here. His little haunch.
and just like the variation in um, see how the white stripe it comes down and it's like kind of like pale here so make sure you just leave stuff like that oh I wish that I wish I'd done the pause lower because actually this isn't too too bad and you're not allowed to say otherwise okay let's do the top of his hunch here this little darker fur that goes up and then there was just these little dark patches where the fur is just in different directions and then the stripe should really be defined key characteristic uh, key features and um, then the second stripe and the going back making it a little bit more jagged and I think you can very lightly shade down that white that you've got because the black tips of some of the fur does go through that white I don't know if this guy's going to be good enough for the wall I don't like, um, I'm not keen on what I've done here. Oh, is that all? No, it's not all that I'm not keen on. Okay, well, that sucks, but anyway. Okay, let's spend a little bit of time on his face we'll spend a lot of time on his face okay this kind of tannish see this stripe on the face is very distinct so what like why don't you go ahead and bump that up make it nice and dark to give some good contrast What the heck have I done here? This should just be like shaded in a little bit, but I want to have a nice dark stripe. And it's got a jagged edge, which mine doesn't. Will in a second. Okay, I can do the darker eyebrow. To the ear. You can really see the, the dark tips of the fur with the way the photograph is showing its face. My hand is sticking to my page. Okay, and I don't I really have this downward angle for his mouth. I don't know if I can really do anything about it with the way I've kind of done the shading. Should we try putting in the dots? where his whiskers come out with a little muzzle. Okay, now let's, I don't know how we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna try to do this sort of like furry edge 
to his body make him look a little bit fluffy he's got whiskers coming out and then he's got uh kind of furry let's color in this white <laughs> oh you know what i mean Okay, I don't know if he's good enough for the wall, but I'll tell you, if he's not, I'm not sure that we're going to be tackling this again. <laughs> Toe's a toughie for us. Okay, so just like, yes, he has a white tummy, but just like, let's get a little bit more, and this is his... You can actually see his skin here, his pink skin. See, when I stop the camera and I have to photograph this, it means that I'm not allowed to change it or like fix it up a little bit um, before I take the picture of the thumbnail for the video. So like I'm not allowed to cheat and work on it after I stop the camera. So I have to make sure that I'm kind of like a little bit satisfied with the way it looks before we actually call it quits. We didn't really work on his paws at all. That's because I put the paws way too high. Let's see if there's anything that can be done about this. So I want to have his paws coming out like this. His little claws are folded. There's more shadow underneath where his tummy is. top of his haunch I've, I've done way too dark but if I can just try to salvage this a little bit see this distinct line right here between the dark of his uh, arm and into his back compared to the tan right here of his body Well, I'm learning just as much as you guys, so if my kid says it's not good enough for the wall, maybe that's kind of too bad and I'll post the video anyway. I mean, not everything that we do can be terrific, right? Gosh, that's why we're learning. See, this ear is lower than this one. At least that's correct. Okay. See, I told you I just wanted to work on the tail. <laughs> Give me something simple and fun to do. Okay, I promise you guys the next thing will be a bird. <laughs> Let's go back to our birdies. Okay. Um, please send me. Oh, I would just. Nobody's showing me any of their work, which sucks. So I would love it. 
if you could email something to me, put it on my Facebook wall on Simply Draw, just so that I uh, I don't feel so lonely and and uh, out of place with what I'm doing. Can we all equally suck together? <laughs> that would be okay. Well, uh, I just want to say thank you for your company. This was not as enjoyable <laughs> as, as uh, some of our other pictures. But we're learning, right? Good on us. Okay, you guys. Take care. See you next time.